Most of us don't think much about our eyelids unless we have a problem with them, but our eyelids are essential to the well-being of our eyes. The eyelids help lubricate our eyes, sweep away irritants, shield our eyes from light and foreign objects, and allow us to sleep. The eyelids also frame our eyes and give us expression. There are several common eyelid conditions that can affect us. Let's take a look at these problems and the treatment options available. Dermatochalasis, more commonly known as droopy or baggy eyelids, can affect both upper and lower eyelids. This condition may affect peripheral vision as well as make eyes look and feel tired. It can also make wearing eyeglasses difficult if lower lids are significantly affected. The treatment for dermatochalasis is a technique called blepharoplasty. It's an outpatient surgery performed under local anesthesia. It's designed to correct baggy or sagging eyelid skin, muscle, and fat pockets. This surgery is minimally invasive and is the most effective treatment. Blepharitosis is a condition that causes the upper eyelid to droop. The eyelid can actually fall into your field of vision and make it difficult to see. It can be congenital, inherited, or acquired, and often is caused by interference to the muscles that lift the eyelid. There are several different types of surgery to treat blepharitosis, and the correct procedure depends upon the strength of the muscle that lifts the eyelid. But the goal is to elevate the upper lid and restore as normal a field of vision as possible. On the whole, these are outpatient surgeries performed under local anesthetic. Entropion is a condition where the lower eyelid and lashes turn inward. Entropion is commonly due to the relaxation of eyelid tissues over time. The problem with this condition is that the lid and lashes constantly rub against the cornea, creating the sensation that there is something in the eye. This also causes excessive tearing, red eyes, discharge, and crusting of the eye that can impair vision. If left untreated, entropion can cause infection and scarring of the cornea. The treatment usually involves outpatient surgery under a local anesthesia. Several surgical techniques are used to tighten and reposition the eyelid. Once the surgery is completed, the lower eyelid no longer irritates the cornea, and this relieves the redness, tearing, and foreign body sensation. Ectropion is an abnormal lower eyelid that turns outward and no longer touches the eye. This can happen to adults as the eyelid relaxes over time. While ectropion is most often seen in older patients, it can also be the result of traumas, burns, and skin cancers. It can also occur after facial nerve palsy, and may be aggravated when a tearing patient constantly wipes their eye. This causes further pulling of the eyelid from the eye. The symptoms of ectropion include excessive tearing, crusting of the eyelid, discharge, infection, and impaired vision. The exposed inner lining of the eyelid becomes dry, red, and inflamed, and ultimately the eye can be damaged. Treatment occasionally involves using artificial tears or lubricating ointment to protect the cornea. But if eyelid tissue problems are not addressed, surgery for ectropion may be required. If ectropion is a result of scarring, skin cancer, facial nerve palsy, or other problem, the underlying condition will also need to be treated at the same time. Blepharitis is chronic redness, irritation, and flaking of the eyelids, which can lead to lid infection and irritation of the eye. Long-term effects of blepharitis can include thickened lid margins, eyelash loss, entropion or inward turning of the eyelid, ectropion or outward turning of the eyelid, and chronic irritation of the eyes. Blepharitis treatment includes applying warm compresses, cleaning, and applying antibiotic ointment to the eyelids. There are also a number of eyelid lesions that can affect your eyelids and vision. These include inflammations, styes, skin cancers, growths, and cysts. Your eyelids are an important part of your overall vision. If you have any symptoms or problems with your eyelids, talk with your ophthalmologist.